2012 Transportation Licensing Commission. As most meetings start off, we just want to start off with giving the Pledge of Allegiance. So, can everyone rise, please? I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Second item on the agenda is um, the notice of the appeals process, which we read before every meeting. <coughs> Pursuant to the provisions of Section 2.68030 of the Metropolitan Code of Laws, notice is hereby given that if you are not satisfied with the decision made by the Metro Transportation Licensing Commission, you may appeal the decision by petitioning for a writ of certiorari with the Davidson County Chancery or Circuit Court. Your appeal must be filed within 60 days of the date of entry of the Metropolitan Transportation Licensing Commission's decision. We advise that you seek your own independent legal advice to ensure that your appeal is filed in a timely manner and that all procedural requirements have been met. Third item on the agenda that we have is um, the approval of the minutes. Uh, commissioners, have you had a chance to review those minutes? And if so, I will entertain any motions on the minutes. Mr. Chairperson, I reviewed the minutes. There was one uh, error that I noted on page two that I brought to uh, our director's attention. I believe um, that may have been fixed by now, but with that correction, I move to approve. I second. Motion to approve the minutes as amended. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Motion passes. <clears throat> So we are now on item number four, the booting services, um, a complaint by Michael G. Hoskins against Parking Enforcement, LLC. Uh, Mr. Fields, is uh, Mr. Hoskins available? Is he present? I don't see him. Or does he have a representative here? Hmm. You just... okay. We're here ready to go. Was not necessarily anticipating this. He was he was noticed to the meeting I'm, and said he would be here, so I'm not sure. I'd For right now, do you want to just roll this down in the outline to so roll this down in the in the agenda or? Yeah, I move that we push it to the heel of the docket and, or the agenda, excuse me, and uh, take it up. To we have a motion on that. Motion moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Move to the hill. <clears throat> Next item that we have on the agenda is we're moving to item number five, records and towing services. And we have item number one, consideration of current record license applications. Um, we're going to take these up. We have five that are the final, correct, Mr. Fields? Yes, we have five renewal companies today. Five renewal companies. Um, do we have a representative from uh, Nashville Limo Bus? They were not necessarily asked to be here. There are no, we, we, the staff has no problems with the renewals of any of these permits. Okay. Yeah. Commissioners? I make, any a motion discussion? That we, I make a motion that we approve um, the renewal. Of Nashville Limo Bus? Nashville. Well, we can start with one, but I, I read through all five of them, and I could make a motion to approve all of them. It's, it's can you read those to the record, please? Yes. I make a motion to approve <coughs> Nashville Limo Bus, Eugene Towing, Lightning Towing, Unlimited Towing, and Duke's Wrecker. We have a motion on the floor. I second. Motion on the floor and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? A motion passes. Next, we have the public hearing section um, for consideration of the new record company applications. Um, Mr. Fields? These are new companies that do not have, the, they currently do not have a permit to operate. I 
asking the commission to hear each of them to uh, make a determination of whether they should have a license to operate a general record company in Nashville. Absolutely. And the first one that we have up is Music City Towing. Do we have a representative from Music City Towing? Yes. Please step up, please. Do you have any anything to say at all? That we, we have no problem with the permit or with the request. Okay. Do you have anything to say as a representative on the just the general towing permit for Music City Towing? No, so we would just like to start a business here and we appreciate your cooperation. Commissioners, any discussion or questions for Music City Towing with regards to the company application? Do you understand the rules associated with the through here in Nashville and run through them? Yes, sir. We've thoroughly reviewed them. We've uh, met with uh, Mr. Fields and we, we feel we're very prepared to uh, follow all the rules. <coughs> Any further discussion, Commissioner? Or I will entertain any motion at, at any point. Uh, I make a motion that we grant Music City Towing and Recovery a license. We have a motion on the floor. I second that motion. Motion on the floor and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion. Aye. Aye. Passes. Um, Music City Towing also has a request for a non, a non consent towing request. By yeah. your rule, you can only, you, you have to consider the non-consent towing the staff does not have any authority over that uh, I advise what I've been advised that that your practice has been to limit non-consent towing to companies that have been in business longer than a year uh, I've not been here obviously a year so I can't that's what I've been advised has been your practice so that's mm -hmm. that's what I can share with you uh, yes sir, we have spoken with those and uh, the inspectors and basically they said uh, that we could do this if we would go on probation for a year uh, be willing to go on probation and we are because we follow all the rules we're going to do it right we're fully prepared and uh, we would like to operate non-consent as well as consent commissioners you know the practice and you also know the representations do you have any questions or would you like to consider I'd like to say something to the commission, especially yes. with the can of worms that can open up with non-consent tow. I'd rather see a company in business be trying to be sure that everything's good before moving into that aspect of the business. So, and that has certainly been the consideration that has been driving that custom and practice. Right. Sir, could I speak? Absolutely. One of the things, one of the partners has been in business for years, so we have uh, uh, years of experience as a tow company, but this is a new company. We brought the partners together with the experience as well as, you know, the resources to really do it right. And who is this partner with the experience and what is his, it, what is his experience? All right. Please. My name is Sean Griffin. I had Hydro Towing back in 06 to 08, and I was licensed for consent and non-consent one each year. In addition to how many years have you been in the record business? Oh, since 1996 till present. Mr. Fields, do you remember Tiger Tone at all? Don't think they were here when I was here before. Um, unfortunately, um, I don't think that any of the commissioners were around in, around in those days either. Uh, here's my license. What is that? These are my licenses I had. We actually had the license. We can look at that. And since you raised those concerns, uh, Commissioner, do you have a motion or would you just open it up for the discussion and the deliberation? <clears throat> I believe I'm done deliberating. Um, anybody would like to make a motion? I'm sorry. What was, what was your name? Uh, Sean Griffin. Mr. Griffin, uh, did uh, when did Tiger Towing go stop doing business? Uh, right around the beginning of '09. And have you been in the towing business since 2009? Yes, what have you been doing since? I've been driving for Harpeth Towing out of Franklin, Tennessee.
commissioners. I make a motion that we deny the request for non-consent, uh, for permission for non-consent towing to Music City Towing. We have a motion on the floor. I we second. Motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Were there any opposition? I only heard two eyes. I, so I, 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 I was. Yeah, okay. I assumed I was <laughs> I okay. already counted. Time, time I'll say it louder next time. My bad. All right. The motion passes. Sorry. Um, Mr. Fields, did that also on on this revised agenda we have a driver's permit for Sean Griffin? Did you want to consider that? Mr. Griffin. Because we don't necessarily. Did you guys have that in your package? Yeah, it's I did it's not. A, it's a renewal actually. So we we would ask that you approve that as well. <clears throat> do we have a motion on? Do you have anything to say? Because that was not in our package. That was not in your package. No, or not. He just made reapplication again. We think it's appropriate for y'all to see the uh, applications and the reapplications. Yeah. So yeah. I apologize for that. It should have been in your it's package. It's a new one. Okay. I'm sorry, we apologize for that. We just was it was it not in it? It's an add-on. It is not in your package. I apologize. It's in that separate package. New Motion that we approve the rec driving permit uh, renewal for Sean Griffin. We have a motion on the floor. I second. All those in favor of the motion to approve the record application for Sean Griffin? Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. And uh, sir, could you explain to me is there an appeal process that we can go through to try to uh, um, appeal the decision about the non consent? Um, I, well, we, we read the notice of appeal rights at the very beginning of the meeting. Of the yeah, meeting. and I, I, I so, so that's the process I go through. To absolutely, as far as mm -hmm. yes. all right. All right, thank you very much. All right. Do we have a representative for um, easy towing here? Uh, has applied, uh, as a company. The, the only issue we had, there were some issues with the inspection of the uh, truck, but I think they're working through those. Okay, so we have no we have no issues for renewal. I mean, for a new permit. Commissioners or representative from Easy Town, do you have anything that you'd like to say on your behalf? Um, I would just say that we, you know, purchased a, a tow truck, and and Easy Towing was an ongoing uh, entity and truck, and at that time. We weren't aware that there was even an inspection. I think that's something you just started doing. Is that correct? No, we, You've been there's an inspection process. It's just reviewed it. And so, then. Yeah, we're in the process now of, of making the repairs to the right. truck so that it will it will meet the standard. Commissioners. It had. Yeah. It, I, I figured it was best that we waited till we heard from you to make sure we were going to get a permit before I spent the money on the truck to get it to go back well, through this. It's kind of a chicken and egg scenario. The, the repairs that that the inspector has advised me that need to be made are relatively minor repairs, and I would ask that you approve it. Uh, go ahead and approve the license pending the record passing. If not passing, we'll certainly bring in another. I'm confident he'll get another record and bring it in, but based on what the inspectors told me, he should be able to make it pass. Okay, thank you. Would any commissioners like to hear from an inspector? If not, we'll entertain a motion or not. I make a motion that we approve it contingent on the repairs being sure. made. Second. We have a motion on the floor that's been seconded. All those in, in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations. Motion passes. Representative of Fast Towing. <laughs> fast Towing? Easy Towing. Fast Towing. 
It's also called Everyday Towing Nashville Auto that song's everyday towing. They should know that, man. They should know what they're calling. <laughs> <laughs> what about <laughs> everyday towing? <laughs> um, Javad Karimzada. <clears throat> Is he here? Because he's also with the same company. They don't have any representatives in the <laughs> we can We can roll it down or we can bump it. Either way it goes, commissioners. Mr. Fields. Would ask you to defer, uh, any of that don't appear, would ask you to defer to the next line. Commissioners. I move that we move or that we uh, defer the new record application for fast towing to next month. I second. Motion on the floor, moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Do we have a representative from Interstate Towing? Mr. Fields. Interstate towing, um, this is an interesting situation. Interstate towing, uh, there's an existing company that uh, Mr. Duke operates. Uh, and this is an additional permit he would like to have. And I'm confident there's going to be some conversations, so they could probably explain this a little better than I could. All right. Um, good afternoon. Uh, Michael McGovern. I'm here with Charles Duke, the applicant in this case has a, a little bit of a history I'd like to explain to you, uh, and it, I guess it raises, as Mr. Fields said, an interesting question um, that certainly will hold to be resolved in favor of, uh, of Mr. Duke. Um, in 2006, there was a, a, a company operated in Davidson County called Interstate Towing. It was a DBA. It was not a corporation. It was uh, actually a gentleman named William Parrish operated the company as DBA Interstate Towing. He in 2006 sold his rights to that business to Mr. Charles Duke here, whose <coughs> business is in Sumner County. Um, and the company has been fairly, has been dormant for, since 2006. He hasn't operated any interstate towing trucks. Uh, he's used the telephone number, but he hasn't actually had any, any tow trucks interstate towing that have operated in Davidson County. Um, what happened was, is uh, then earlier this year, Mr. Parrish, who sold his rights to the business to Mr. Duke, came along and applied for a a, uh, a, tow a Davidson County tow truck license in his in the name of Interstate Towing that he sold to Mr. Duke in 2006. He, his application, as I understand it, was William Parrish DBA Interstate Towing. Since then, Mr. Duke has incorporated Interstate Towing, and he has now applied for a permit in the name of Interstate Towing Incorporated. And that's where that's where we are. I, I, so the, the 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 rub or the issue, is, is, as Mr. Fields indicated, was um, the fact that Mr. Parrish, who I don't think is here today, um, is operating. I, I I think he has a license in the name of William Parrish, DBA Interstate Towing. Mr. Duke is applying as Interstate Towing Incorporated, which is a which is a entity, which is a legal entity, uh, recognized obviously by the Secretary of State. So he's asking for a general license in the uh, in the name of Interstate Towing Incorporated. Mr. Duke has a general license now as Duke Trekker Incorporated. Incorporated. In Sumner County. In Davidson County, he's licensed in Davidson County for 20 years. We have no issues with the company. Is there um, a prohibition against having two companies with very similar names? We we discussed it as long as they as long as we can differentiate and they can differentiate the vehicles, there would not be based on what our rules say. Will be issues for the companies. Commissioners. Any deliberation or questions? <clears throat> if not, we will entertain any motions. I make a motion that we approve <clears throat> the application for a uh, license for Interstate Towing, Inc. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? A second. Motion properly moved and seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 
it was a slow trickle, but motion passes. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, that didn't have an individual permit at all associated with it, right? I believe no, he, Mr. He Duke, Mr. Duke was fine. He already has an existing permit. Yeah, okay. Nashville Auto Care. Do we have a representative of Nashville Auto Care? Are you uh, Mr. Fusari yes, as well? Who also has a, a driver permit as well. Correct, Mr. Fields? Yes, we have, we have no problems with this application. Do you have anything that you'd like to say? Mark, man. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you understand the rules associated um, with owning the company? And you've read the ordinance. Can you say something <coughs> on yes. the rules? Yes. any motions commissioners but I don't see a problem but I don't have a vote I move that we that the Commission approves the general general record service application for Nashville Auto Care we have a motion on the floor a second motion and a second all those in favor aye, aye. aye. motion passes um, we, we separately need to go with his individual mr. who sorry I also move that we approve the record driver permit for Mr. Fusari. We have a motion? A second. Okay. Motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Next to the consideration of current record driver applications. Consideration of record driver. Mr. Fields? Staff would ask that you approve all of them. Is there a list of those? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, is that Mr. Fields? Mr. Fields, yes. can you clarify for for our sure. record on because of the agenda, what they don't see oh. it is a, it's a little bit confusing when the way that this has been presented the, to us. If a review of the ordinance requires an, a approval of all record companies and all drivers on an annual basis in front of the commission. This is simply a process of bringing folks that under normal circumstances we would approve as a staff, uh, much as we do taxi cab drivers, for instance, but it does require your approval on each one of the renewals or the reapplications as well as any new drivers that come in. So we simply, these are all drivers that have had permits from you before, we'd ask that you approve them again. And those drivers are limited, Mr. Fields, to, and because we have a motion on the floor, those are limited to Mr. James Baker, Jerry DeMoss, uh, Robert Gilliland, Michael Good, and Todd Morgan for yes. right now. That is the complete that's that is the list of the new drivers outside the ones you approved with the companies. Those are the new drivers. The renewal. I mean the, the renewal renewals. drivers. Renewal drivers. So would anyone like to make a clean motion <laughs> for the record? <laughs> with all of these in mind. I move for the approval of the renewal driver permits for Mr. James Baker, Mr. Jerry DeMoss, Mr. Robert Gilliland, Mr. Michael Good, and Mr. Todd Morgan. Second. Motion on the floor and second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. All right. So now we have to move to the new record driver permits. Do we have um, Lewis Brewington? I'm sorry, yeah. Mr. Brewington. Mr. Brewington has made his new driver. He's asked, uh, he has made an application. Uh, staff would ask approval. Mr. Rosen, you can step forward. Commissioners, do you have any questions? Let's take a look at this. Do you have any questions at all? Deliberations, or we will entertain a motion. <coughs> we 
and there seems to be nothing out of the ordinary. We are good. I make a motion that we approve Mr. Brewington's per, um, request for a driver permit. We have a motion on the floor. We have a second. I second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, motion passes for Mr. Brewer. Thank you. All right. Next person that we have is uh, Joseph Evans. Is Mr. Evans available? You step forward. Mr. Fields? Mr. Evans has applied to be a uh, record driver. Um, there are no, the staff has no issues that at this time. Excuse me. Yeah. What I want to let me go really? back. Excuse me. You'll look the, the from an inspector standpoint. Yes, we would approve that if you'll review. But he, he did have some charges last January that have been dismissed. Uh, they were basically all dismissed with a pretrial diversion. Mr. Evans, would you like to explain or say anything for yourself on on these with regard to your permit at all? Um, I have the. Because yeah, as you can imagine, what our considerations are, what our concerns are right now. Yes, sir. And so, um, the incident took place. It wasn't actually my vehicle. It was actually my mother's vehicle. Possession is not to the law, from where I've always been taught. So I took what I had to take and moved forward. I'm trying to put all that behind me and consider an alternate career path. Commissioners. Are there any questions for Mr. Evans? Commissioners? Do we have a representative from Southside Towing here? Yes. You step forward, please. You state your name for the record. Bonnie Mather. Say it one more time. Bonnie Mather. All right. Mr. Patel? Ms. Mather, um, <coughs> how do you propose um, or Tell, tell us a little bit about Mr. Evans and why you would hire him. Uh, well, we're considering hiring him as a driver trainer, um, working with him, obviously start seeing how he does. He currently works security part-time, has worked for the Nashville Penitentiary. Um, he's a chance. Thank you. How long did he work with you? Um, he's just starting out. He's going to go in training. Um, he actually isn't driving or working for us yet. Okay. <clears throat> and if we if we decided to approve um, but limited his ability to work as, uh, under your supervision, would you be okay with that? Yes. For your company? Okay. How big is your company? How, How many employees? Right now, we have four. <laughs> and who would his supervisor be? I'm sorry? Who would his supervisor be? Todd Deleeds. Mr. Evans, can, can you give more detail on the circumstances of the uh, conviction? Conviction you've got for the possession of a prohibited weapon in a penal institution? I was a correctional corporal with the Tennessee Department of Corrections. Went to work one morning. Well, let me back up. I didn't have a vehicle at the time, so I was borrowing my mother's vehicle. And I left to go to, got up one morning to go to work. And I woke her up and asked her if she was going to take me. She said, no, here, take my keys, take my car. I go to work. I'm at work for seven hours. They're doing a random vehicle search due to not having enough vehicle search for the first shift staff. They called me outside of the penitentiary to go to my vehicle. I let them search the vehicle. They found these items in the vehicle. And from there, I went to due process with the state and tendered my resignation. And then that was June of 2011, January 24th, I was brought upon charges and then I went through the judicial process then. 
And that one, that was dismissed? The first and third count was dismissed. And then the uh, possession of a prohibited weapon was put under the pre-trial diversion. Okay. I've actually got a paper copy of the <coughs> court's outcome if you'd like to see it. Like to see it, yeah. Yes. This is actually your order for the expungement regarding oh, a passing for this check. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Here's the right one. on the floor. Do we have a second? A I second. second. Okay, motion on the floor and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. There you go, Mr. Evans. Work hard. Congratulations. Thank you. Rick Payne. <clears throat> He's set for Mr. Fields? Mr. Payne's applied to be a record driver for Dad's tolling. We reviewed his record. Uh, nothing will keep him Nothing would prohibit him from being driving with recommend approval. Yes, sir. Looks like we have support from dads here also. Yes. <laughs> I move for approval. We have a motion on the floor. Second. We have a motion on the floor and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. says that he's not here, but just to confirm, Mr. Uh, Stoll. I apologize. Mr. Stoll has asked that that be uh, deferred indefinitely. Okay. Do we need to make a motion or? I can just withdraw it. Withdraw. From the agenda. agenda. Now we are on number five, uh, section four or five of the consideration of TOPRO. We have representative of TOPRO. Mr. Fields? Is this a Metro legal? I need to come in or do I need to just go and say? We'd like to ask someone from Metro legal, Ms. Lamb, to explain the reason for this on your agenda. Hey, I'm Emily Lamb from um, Metro Legal. We are here. This is matter is consideration of a settlement um, from a lawsuit stemming from the March 22nd meeting of the commission. Um, at that meeting, there was uh, Topro was there was a hearing to review a couple two different incidents for violations by Topro, um, a couple of Topro drivers. In that meeting, it was as a result of that hearing, it was um, voted on and approved to suspend Topro's license for 30 days for each incident to run concurrently. Um, since that time, there has been, uh, the Topro has petitioned the court to review that hearing, that decision. Um, so that's where we are now. Um, Topro, through their attorney, Mr. Uh, McGovern, has offered a settlement, and we're here to review that settlement today. Um, and they are proposing that instead of <coughs> one 30-day suspension that we, that y'all um, approve a 30-day probationary period for each 
incident, so 60 days to run consecutively, 60 days total. In addition to that, a $200 fine for the first incident and a $400 fine for the second incident, so for a total of $600. Commissioners all have the proposal that was submitted by the representative, correct? Yes. Mr. McGovern, would you like to speak, or commissioners, would you like to? Mr. McGovern, do you have a copy of the section 6.80.585 that you referenced in your letter? I, I have probably in my briefcase. I don't have it. I don't have it in front of me. Um, I asked because I looked my section up and I couldn't find the language that you're citing in your letter. So I'm, if you could. Um, I mean, it, it, I don't want to take the commission's time. I could. I don't know what to, <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you. I, I, obviously, I read that somewhere. I'm, I must have gotten it out of the code. Yeah. Are you are you referring to the section? About the, the fines, the, yeah, the, the penalty monetary, section? The monetary amount. Um, you say in your letter that section 6.80.585 provides for a monetary penalty up to $200 for a first violation and $400 for a second violation within, the, within 24 months. And that's the language that I was most in interested in seeing in the statute, or excuse me, in the code, and I couldn't find it. Well, Commissioner, I think that that's probably what may be a little bit easier is to consider the fact that they do have a proposal that's on the table. And so for, apparently from Metro Legal's perspective, there was no problem per se with the proposal that's on the table. Is that correct? That, that's correct. All right. I mean, and again, it's up to y'all's discussion, but um, and so, legally there is not, there are not any problems with that proposal. And so I don't know necessarily where you were going with it, but I think that we could be a little bit more efficient maybe if we just consider the proposal as on the table and move to approve or deny or no motion at all or discuss on just the motion that's on the table. But that's just my suggestion because I have no vote. But I think that may help things move a little bit quicker on that one. May, may I just briefly make a comment if that's appropriate? Absolutely. I, um, and I, as you've indicated, the commission's read the proposal. And, and uh, I just want to emphasize that TOPRO has been in business since the 1980s and, and has a very, it's a, you know, it's one of the top operations in Davidson County and has a good relationship with the Metropolitan Police Department. And quite frankly, they just don't want to be in an adversarial relationship with the commission anymore. I uh, would like to resolve it on terms that are, are good for the commission and good for, and good for Davidson County. Um, and we we think that these terms are reasonable, and we think they're fair for everybody. They, they just they want to end the the, the adversarial situation that, that that came out of um, two isolated instances, and uh, so that's that's why they're here. Commissioner, do you have any questions? I make a motion that we accept your offer. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? I second that motion. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Next we have item number Six. Item number six, the request to reconsider the denial of the application for the driver's permit. Uh, Mr. Or Francis C. Aquanco, can you please step up, please? Mr. Fields. Mr. Aquanco was to be here last month. There was a miscommunication between our office and him. He actually appeared on Friday for the meeting. Uh, it, and we, uh, we, we wondered... Uh, how we could do this we spoke with metro legal and they said the commission could uh by by you could vote to reconsider it and then consider it so we'd ask that you reconsider his application okay. i move to reconsider mr i'm sorry to rescind your action of denial and then reconsider my motion's off the table I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do we have a second to be proper? Do we have a second? 
Motion dies. Do we have a new motion? I make a motion to rescind our previous <laughs> previous denial denial of uh, Mr. Apoko's petition for. We have a motion on the floor. Yeah. I second. Motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next. Mr. Fields, with, just with regard to the, the application. Permit, application itself. Mr. Conquo uh, applied for, uh, his, he had been a driver for us for several years. He uh, did not renew during the September period. Uh, a couple of days, I think it was, you'll see a ticket that was on the, um, uh, the 8th of October. He came into the office, started the application. He received the ticket while in his taxi cab. Uh, we could not, uh, because of the pending charge, we didn't feel comfortable renewing it, wanted to bring him to you. He's been off work since October the 8th and has not driven, so we would, uh, I believe that's probably appropriate time for him not being able to work. I'd ask that you approve and place him on a period of uh, probation to make sure he understands the need to have a permit. Mr. Conco, do you have anything that you'd like to say in response? Nothing. Any objections whatsoever to no. the request? No. Commissioners, do you have any questions for Mr. Conquo? Is that how you pronounce your name? You I don't, hate to you're doing pretty good. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Mr. Fields, what was the ticket for? I can't read it. He was, uh, I was an accident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was not your fault. It wasn't my fault, no. But that was my first accident ever. So you were in the taxi cab. The, yes. the police officer asked you for a permit. You did not have the permit, and he issued you a ticket. And then he That's brought right. a copy to our office. And <coughs> Mr. Conkle then brought a copy into the office within about a two-hour period. It was unfortunate. It was very unfortunate. I was, I was in the process of coming to, to the office. So. Make a motion to approve the application. We have a motion on the floor. A second. Motion and a second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Congratulations. Thank you. Next, we have consideration of other vehicles for hire. Francis Davis. Mr. Fields. Mr. Davis applied to be a. Um, to drive one of the other vehicles that we that we regulate on her original application she failed to list some charges that she that some charges uh, because there was zero charges listed and there were several charges on her record we felt like we needed to bring it to the Commission for your consideration Staves, do you have anything for commissioners yes I didn't read the application fully. I thought it said, have you been convicted? I didn't read the part where it said, have you ever been charged? I just didn't read the full application. So you're saying you were charged with all of these offenses, but you were not convicted of any of them? No, I didn't <coughs> say I wasn't convicted of oh. any of them. I was charged with some of them, and some of them I was convicted of, and some of them I wasn't. Um, and some of them I, don't, I ain't never even heard of. I didn't know they was on there until they showed me the record. I got to go see about those because some of them I didn't even know they were on there. The charges, if you review the, the last charge, that I'm seeing from the record that we received from the TBI was dated uh, March the 29th in 2006. There are some other charges that would date back to 1998, I think, was the one, or 94 was the first one, up through 2006. In other words, had she put all of them down, she would have qualified under the ordinance to receive a permit. The fact that she did not, it would be in a place where we had to deny and bring to you. Do you have a management representative with you? No. No. Do you currently work for Grand Avenue? Uh-huh. I drive a bus. You do? Yeah, I have a CDL, Class B CDLP endorsement. Is someone here? No one's here from Grand Avenue? No. I hadn't seen anybody. 
Is it possible for you to get somebody here if we said come back in 30 days? Because we really need to talk to somebody from Grand Avenue before I think we can approve this. Well, I asked them, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they said no. I said I will. Oh, you will ask them? Mm -hmm. Uh, I make a motion that we readdress this in 30 days and give her the, the opportunity. Or the next meeting, I'm sorry. The, the next meeting and give you the opportunity to have a, <coughs> somebody from Grand Avenue come speak on your behalf. Okay. I second. We have a motion and a second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Field, And we have. Is this the one we moved to the end? No. Just so we can Before we can get started on this, um, do we have a uh, Miss. The, let's address the complaint by Michael G. Hoskins against parking enforcement. Who's not here? Mr. Mr. Parking. Fields, I have a question about okay. the notice to Mr. Hoskins. Um, it, it, he was specifically told to be here. Yes, we, we, he, he received this. We sent this letter to him, and the inspector also spoke with him. Step four. I spoke, I spoke to him and advised him that he, he would be on this meeting and also that he would be worked on the agenda for the application. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and. I, I, only, I asked because we have the parking enforcement representatives here, right? And he's he just barely missed the last. In other words, he came in the day that the day after the agenda had closed for the last meeting. So we, we at that point, we called him then and said it'd have to go this month. He agreed. We sent him a letter, and we also uh, confirmed by telephone. So he he knew that he was to appear mm -hmm. as opposed to his item coming mm -hmm. up on the agenda. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would there be any problems with us moving forward and considering? Because he actually did give a fairly detailed right. um, substantive complaint. I'd like to hear what parking enforcement has to say. And, and, and there doesn't seem to be too much reason for a delay to next month That's right. because he issued such a detailed um, formal complaint. So I'd like to hear from parking enforcement since the allegations against them. And I think we may be able to come up with some sort of resolution that's okay today. Parking enforcement? Or did they leave? This is what Mr. Chair, if you like the the inspector, he just went out to see if we could get the okay. official parking look for, enforcement. The inspector has put together a uh, a detailed list of what he believes are undisputed facts in the case, yeah. and he'd be glad. I, th I assume we get him back in the room. I think he'd be <coughs> glad to at least speak to any of those issues that that he would know about. Again, we weren't present. We certainly investigated after the complaint was made. Yeah, the only the only tough part about. It. Undisputed facts is that with Mr. Oh. Hoskins not being here, absolutely. then I'm sure that it's, it's that. very uh, difficult to say that I they're understand. undisputed. I understand. <laughs> and I know that he's a lawyer, and that's probably we can find a dispute in anything. We thought we were going to be a while. Step forward. <coughs> Commissioners, have you had a chance to review this? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so we pretty much understand the full scope of what these allegations are, correct? Correct. And so, and have you had a chance to read the formal complaint that was made by Mr. Hoskins? Yes, so first I introduce myself. I'm Brian Lewis. Uh, I represent uh, parking, uh, parking enforcement. And uh, we're here and to contest this complaint today and understand the scope. And one thing I would like to direct the board's attention to is yeah. a very minute detail in this, and I think it, if you look on the receipt that Mr. Hoskins submitted, he didn't pay for mere parking. He paid central parking. He was illegally parked in that lot. So uh, it, that's the, the first problem as it relates to this complaint. The receipt? Yeah. yeah may I approach? Okay. Exhibit A. Right. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. 
the receipt that his parking receipt. Now approach, Mr. Chairman. Uh, they, they've got me. <laughs> you don't have to approach. I'm okay. I'm, I'm all right. It's not that big. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, that's that's the basic problem we have in this. He didn't pay my client. Mm -hmm. He paid, for whatever reasons, he paid another parking lot. Premier Parking has no affiliation with Central Parking. Premier Parking is the competitor of Premier uh, 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 Premier Parking, Central Parking, yes, so mm -hmm. he was in the lot in violation. And, and Do you have a theory behind why that is, why he submitted this as a? No, sir, I sure don't. We have, I have the gentleman who responded uh, that night, Mr. McCready. Uh, as a matter of fact, Mr. McCready, the gentleman that responded, didn't charge him for the violation that night. He felt somewhat sorry for him in that he had a ticket but from the wrong parking lot and we have no reason why he are the parking lots adjacent the, uh, the parking lots are uh, may i call uh, mr wilson up and kind of let him help me with this if you don't mind no, as far better. as the location of the lots he, right. he is better uh, i certainly don't mind well actually tim would probably be there's two paying display machines. Uh, there's one for Premier Parking Lot and there's one for Central Parking Lot. However, Premier Parking Lot is perfectly identified by both markings on the space and marking on the signs in one of the spaces Premier Parking Lot. Both the paying display machines are clearly designated that this is a paying display machine for Premier Parking. The signs are there. Could not be any more clear. Are those machines close by to each other? They were probably. <coughs> Yards apart. Yeah. But the lots but the are lots, close. But the lots do connect. Can, can I make a motion? Well, can I ask another uh, question? You, you can, but we're kind of talking so. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to make a motion to uh, uh, adjourn this item on the agenda to next uh, the January meeting and uh, tell Mr. Hopkins that if he doesn't appear at, at the January meeting, we're going to dismiss the complaint. We have a motion. I, I motion don't think, dies. I don't think it's uh, a... Can I ask another question first, though? Just so we clean the record up okay. for a second. The motion has failed. There was no second on Mr. Hernandez's motion. Now we can open the floor back for discussion. Okay. My question is, is that you only boot after a second infraction. Yeah. And let me finish. It's, it's been shown in the record that he paid the first infraction, so there was never a second infraction. No, sir, it has not been shown in the record. He has merely submitted a check with no verification to show that it's cleared the bank or anything like that. Just a bald assertion. And I would assume that since Mr. Hoskins is an attorney, he ought to know that would not pass muster. We all, I'm going to take it. We that all passes all. muster for this purpose. I mean, yeah. he, he's, he's, he's an attorney. He's made this representation sure. in a formal complaint. Let's give him the credit to say that he probably believes. And he made the exact assertion that what he did was checked. His, he, he said it's cleared the bank. Well, let, let me also ask this question. Sure. Have you checked your records and he did not pay the first one? I, I can. Uh, I can yeah. We'll let Mr. That. Wilson direct. And, and I, I do not work for Premier Parking. That we simply contract with Premier Parking sure. to do the booting on their parking lots. We did check uh, with Mayor Park and Mr. Hoskin never paid that ticket. That ticket was never paid. There was no check. There was no payment ever posted for the payment of that ticket with, okay. with Premier Parking. Um, ha had there been, we would have barely refunded the, the, 90, the $50 for the booting violation and the uh, plus the $40 ticket. And, and who were the representatives there? Parking enforcement. I have a partner in parking enforcement. Was it this gentleman right here? He, he, he works for parking enforcement. And you were the person who came that yes, day, and you put the boot on the car. Yes, ma'am. And did you have, I see that you're wearing your, your ID right now. Did you? I had on the exact same thing I have on now. It was warmer. I had shorts on, and, and I didn't have this on underneath of it, but I was wearing exactly what I had. Can we see what you're wearing? I, I have my parking enforcement shirt on, and this is my employee permit and name tag. It just has a. But this has your name on it. Side matter. Can you back that microphone up? I just kind of don't like feeling crowded and heavy standing on top of me. Sure. <laughs> like, no problem. Now, I can, I can let me get excited with representing. Yes, you do. <laughs> I agree with Sal. I believe when you Mr. Hodgins. Right. I see. Sal, so would you like to restate your motion? Yeah, I, I move that we adjourn this item on the agenda to the January meeting 
and re-notify Mr. Hoskins and uh, tell him that he needs to be present at the meeting in January um, so we can fully uh, consider the complaint. I second. Motion on the floor and second. Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nice. Motion passes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're fist bumped to January. <coughs> My favorite part of that. Um, <laughs> Can we get the representatives of the horse carriage operators to stand, Mr. Fields? Yeah. Item, we are now on item number eight. Mr. Chairman, I, Gary Blackburn. I, I asked Mr. Fields to. Oh, I beg your pardon. First. Um, Just to, to let This me. has been a, uh, several complaints were filed uh, and cross complaints filed. Uh, the, from commission staff, we were not present for, you know, we, we, we didn't file the complaints. We're not a party at that. The only thing we knew to do was to uh, invite them both to come and speak directly to y'all to uh, discuss them and uh, for you to hear the charges and what the charges. Okay, and Mr. Fields, just so we have everything clear for the record and about how we may proceed moving forward, we have um, complaints that have been made by Elizabeth made against Elizabeth Lucky of Hat Creek Carriage. And I'm assuming that's by Mr. Johnny Smith in Sugar Creek, correct? That's correct, Your Honor. And we have Sam Roberts um, of Hat Creek Carriage, Matthew Clark of Hat Creek Carriage, um, Russell Bassett of Southern Comfort, Melody Robinson of Southern Comfort, Lee Rader of Hat Creek Carriage, all have complaints against them by Sugar Creek and the representatives via right. a detailed letter. We also have cross complaints of some sort um, against Johnny Smith. Is Mr. Smith about? Yes, he is. Um, by Matthew Clark of Pat Creek and Russell Bassett of uh, Southern Comfort. Correct. Yes, sir. And this is this is going to be somewhat scary. Um, well, I have because a. What we don't want to do is to necessarily we want to give you the floor to to be able to present this in a format that we can digest, um, and because there's, there's kind of a lot coming at us. Yes. So we'd like to open up the floor for you to give oh. us the substance of where you're going and the allegations, and then we will open it up for a rebuttal, and it will be the exact same thing. So state for the record who you represent and what your position is on the allegations. Do you think that will be? a fair way to, to approach this I, 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 because I, I, rather than to approach each individual person at once i think it would probably be yes. better for you to to present them all at once mr chairman gary blackburn representing the smith and sugar creek side of the equation uh, this is a huge headache for all of us not just the commission but us and i'm here to offer you an aspirin um, the uh, in discussion with council because of many of the reasons to which you've just alluded and others uh, and the length that this would take uh, we i have proposed and uh, council has agreed that they will not oppose my proposal Proposal that we defer these matters indefinitely. The purpose of that will be initially to discuss between ourselves with Mr. Fields and with Metro Legal how we can handle these things procedurally. What's the best way to do this in a manner that won't take all of your all of your time and and and. In part, there's the notion that there's not enough sugar for the dime, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, secondly, I think there is some possibility that we can have some discussions. I'm not proposing any resolution of anything, but uh, I am aware and became aware today that Mr. Smith is not able personally at this time to operate carriages. He has multiple permits and the business still exists, but because of health reasons, he's just simply physically unable at this time. So that reduces the potential for conflict. And these are 
he said, she said complaints on both sides. It would take hours to do it. There's any number of, of issues, One of, and I'm not going to go through all of them. You, you heard enough from me for the last time. Uh, but one of those, for example, is some of the things that are being said by each side could theoretically be defamatory. And if these things are not presented under oath and in something that can be called a judicial type of proceeding, they could, there might be no immunity, as there would be for something you say in court. So there's all sorts of reasons, practical legal reasons, why the, we don't need to trouble you with several hours worth of testimony this evening. So our proposal is that all of these matters on both sides be uh, indefinitely deferred while we have these discussions. You could also withdraw them. That's also an option. Well, uh, I will. I will certainly take yes for an answer if my opponents withdraw their uh, charges. Could you state your name for the record and your position with regards to what Mr. Blackburn sure. just represented? I'm Tyler Yarbrough. This is Jason Gishner, and together we we represent the carriage drivers for Hat Creek Carriage and Southern Comfort that are listed in agenda items A through F. Um, we are prepared to go forward today. We. I don't believe that it would necessarily take several hours. I think we are prepared to present this in a concise way. I also think that there are several complaints before you that aren't necessarily within the Commission's purview and that they are very personal and private in matter, and some of those could possibly be disposed of very quickly. Um, we do uh, um, not object uh, necessarily if there are other forums in which um, Mr. Blackburn proposes that these complaints be addressed in. However, we have made complaints. We would at some point like to be heard on them um, if, if the, we would defer to the commission as to how they want to, how, to, how you want to handle this today. Uh, but we are not necessarily fully in agreement with just indefinitely continuing these matters such that they w might never be heard. Um, if there is some continuance and some discussion amongst us, I think we are amenable to potentially discussing this and coming to to some global resolution, but I can't simply agree to an indefinite continuance of the matter. Well, you are placed on the agenda, and that is your right to move forward with the presentation of your complaints today. Isn't that correct, Mr. Fields? Yeah. So Mr. there's, so there, it, it seems to be a discrepancy between you and Mr. Blackburn, and so that if, but if for I right may, now the okay, yes, Mr. Fields. I'm sorry. Oh, one of one of the options that's available under the horse drawn carriage uh, ordinance allows the director a wide latitude in terms of dealing with various issues on the street. Obviously, they're all appealable to the commission, and this may be one of the crazier things I've done in 25 years of government. I'm happy to sit down with both sides and sit down and talk through the issues to see if there's a way for me to resolve this, mm -hmm. and actually, I would, they could still appeal those to you, of yes. course. But I, I have the authority and the ability to suspend up to 30 days, uh, for instance, without your approval unless they appeal it. I'm not saying I suspend anybody. I'm just saying there, there are some, there are certainly are some things we can do. I'm very comfortable sitting down with both sides to try to work to arrange this because the mm -hmm. horse-drawn carriage industry is a different kind of industry than all. There's a very personal industry. They're very close to each other, <coughs> and there clearly are some differences of opinion, and, and I, I would believe I could work through those. Okay, Mrs. Jarborough, do you think that you might have a problem with a 60-day deferral with opportunity to work with Mr. Fields? Or do you have any other proposal? Or commissioners, do you have any proposals? I have no clue what might be acceptable for you because technically, once again, you are on the agenda for today. Would it be all right if we could, uh, one, speak with Mr. Blackburn for a moment, and two, discuss with our clients yeah. and make sure that they're comfortable with any recommendations from the commission? Our commission would <coughs> propose to a 10-minute recess. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Move forward fairly quickly. We're 10-minute recess. May yeah, it's just, Mr. Chairman, Matt, you, you, you'll be first on deck after the recess. Well, I, I just want to assure you that I spoke with Ms. Tracy Lane uh, two hours ago, who works with them, who gave me express authority to say what I said. I make representations to court all the time, and I have never in 40 years misrepresented a statement, and I am astonished to hear this. Well, I mean, sometimes left hand doesn't talk to the right. I'm sure that it has nothing to do with them at all. They did. It. They made no efforts to misrepresent anything. We are now in recess for ten minutes. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. <laughs> we 
are back on the record. What parties like to report what, where we stand? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, the um, in discussion with council, the um, disagreement seems to have been that I use the word indefinite. I use the word indefinite because all of us can place items on the agenda with a request, uh, and uh, their suggestion was that that be deferred for 60 days. I agreed to that. Now I understand that uh, they're no longer in agreement to that, despite a clear understanding that was reached by phone before I arrived here. Uh, I've had some discussions with Mr. Field. Uh, as um, during the break, uh, and uh, I don't want to overstate it, but Mr. Field is willing to participate in trying to reach some resolution of this. If that resolution is not reached, then through his cooperation, opposing counsel, and Metro Legal, we will come up with some rational means for you to hear this without it being without excess drama, I'll put it that way, <laughs> to make it coherent and make it easier for us to present and for you to, to receive. I can't imagine that that will be done. One of the reasons being that Mr. Smith is not in carriages right now because of a physical disability that he has, which makes a lot of these things easier to discuss. So uh, the agreement that had been reached, I did announce. Apparently that agreement is no longer uh, uh, acceptable to the parties who agreed to it. Uh, I ask uh, then that this matter be deferred in the interest of the time of this commission, an orderly presentation, and the possibility of a resolution without a hearing. Mrs. Yarbrough? In response, I would say that we are, are we are still have the position that we had when we spoke with Mr. Blackburn earlier. We're prepared to go forward. However, we defer to the commission if it prefers to accept Mr. Field's recommendation. Commissioners. I make a motion that we uh, allow Mr. Fields to hear from the parties and see if he's able to come to some sort of resolution. And if it's not acceptable to the parties, I, they obviously have the ability to appeal to the commission. I second. I don't know what that motion was. So what exactly are we doing I, with this <laughs> item on the agenda? I, I, <laughs> I, I move that we defer it for 60 days or until the January meeting, excuse me, um, to allow Mr. Fields to hear from the parties to see if some sort of resolution or determination can be made by Mr. Fields. And if, if it's not satisfactory to the parties, they have the ability to appeal to the commission. Can we get a second on that motion? That's cleaned up. Thank you for <laughs> seeking that clarification. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes is deferred for 60 days, and Mr. Fields, uh, good luck and good work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, do we have any other business, Mr. Fields? No other agenda items. No other agenda items. Um, at this time, I'll also entertain a motion. My favorite motion. The best motion. Motion adjourned. Second. Second. In favor. Motion passes.